Welcome to the DLT 360 Blockchain Brief. I'm your host, Jonathan, and today we'll discuss the controversy around the emergence of digital identity systems. In today's increasingly digitized world, digital identity has become an integral part of our daily lives. However, with the proliferation of online services, social media platforms, and e-commerce websites, there are growing concerns about the privacy, security, and control of personal information. Centralized digital identity systems, in which a central authority manages and controls the collection, storage, and sharing of personal data, have raised significant concerns with terms such as surveillance capitalism, describing the current practices of internet giants that turn personal data into profit, as some argue, at the expense of the user's privacy. Further issues with centralized digital identity systems are the potential for data breaches and unauthorized access to personal information. Hackers and other malicious actors can use stolen personal information for identity theft, fraud, and other criminal activities causing significant harm to individuals and organizations alike. Additionally, these systems can be subject to censorship and discrimination, with governments or corporations restricting access to services or opportunities based on an individual's identity or personal characteristics. This is a major point of controversy with the move towards government-sponsored digital identity systems and has raised strong opposition from critics who argue that these digital identity systems would put too much power into the hands of governments or other centrally controlled entities. To address these concerns, there is growing interest in decentralized digital identity systems based on blockchain technology. Blockchain-based decentralized digital identity systems could indeed be a key to provide enhanced security and privacy for personal data. Data is distributed across a network of nodes, making it more difficult for malicious actors to access or tamper with the data. The technology uses cryptographic techniques to ensure that the data is tamper-proof, providing greater assurance that personal information is secure and private. Perhaps most fundamentally, Decentralized digital identity systems also give individuals greater control over their own data. Individuals have ownership of their own data and can choose who has access to it. This provides greater transparency and accountability, making it easier for individuals to know how their data is being used and by whom. Additionally, decentralized digital identity systems can help address issues of censorship and discrimination. Since individuals have control over their own data and can choose who to share it with, the technology could potentially mitigate these concerns. Therefore, decentralized systems could provide a more equitable platform for identity verification, potentially reducing the impact of existing inequalities. In conclusion, the potential privacy, security, and control issues associated with centralized digital identity systems are a significant concern in today's digital age. By exploring alternative solutions based on blockchain technology, we could begin to address these concerns and create a more secure, transparent, and equitable digital identity system. Blockchain-based decentralized digital identity systems could provide enhanced security and privacy for personal data, while also giving individuals greater control over their own data and addressing issues of censorship and discrimination. As digital identity becomes an increasingly important part of our lives, it is crucial that we explore these solutions that prioritize privacy, security, and self-sovereign control. That's it for this episode. As always, I hope you found it useful and informative, and I hope to see you in the next episode of the DLT360 Blockchain Brief. Before you go, please also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've enjoyed this video, which helps us to grow this format and keep producing free content like this one for you. Also make sure to follow us on LinkedIn for regular updates and special promotions. Thanks a lot and see you in the next episode.